In this documentary series, we will examine some traditional Naga musical instruments found among the Angami, Lotha, Ao and Chakisang Naga tribes. We will also look into the role folk music and traditional musical instruments play in the life of the Nagas. The function that musical instruments play in a society is not limited to only producing harmonious sounds. They also express the most profound cultural and spiritual values of a civilization and transmit knowledge in many spheres, religious, mythology, history and oral tradition. Therefore, through their music and musical instruments, we can try to understand the unique qualities of a group of people, in this case, the Nagas. For the Nagas, musical instruments are not necessarily used to accompany or provide harmony to the vocal lines of a song. They fulfill some need in the daily life of the people as well. At one time in their history, the use of musical instruments among the Nagas was quite prevalent. Although the society today is greatly influenced by Western instruments such as the guitar and the piano, indigenous musical instruments continue to exist. Today, however, only a small number of the people, the older generation in most cases, are familiar with the playing of these instruments. Let us first have a glance at the general classification of the Naga musical instruments and their uses. <laughs> Idiophones, usually made of stone, wood, metal or bone, solid, non-stretchable resonant material. Vibration is produced by the substance of the instrument itself. Let us now examine the largest traditional Naga musical instrument, the log drum. All the Naga tribes do not use the log drum. It is found among the Aos, the Konyaks, the Sangtams, the Fongs, the Changs, the Kyamnyugan and the Yumchungros. Every village of these tribes will have at least one or two drums. The size of the log drum varies from place to place as well as according to the size of the village. The larger the village, the larger the drum. Regarding the making of these drums, writer Milada Ganguly comments, an extraordinary skill is required to make one. They are hollowed out from a single tree trunk, sometimes as much as 12 meters in length and 3 meters in circumference, carved at one end with a huge human figurehead, leaving a long slit on the top running down the whole length of the body of the drum. The Ipigo, 
Some 20 to 30 wooden strikers, about two feet long, are made to beat the drum. Two more strikers, longer in length, may also be used to produce louder sounds. The combination of these louder and softer sounds produces meanings. According to Naga scholars, these log drums are their forefathers' attempts to preserve the memory of an aquatic existence somewhere along their migratory routes. According to writer Mongro, and I quote, to preserve this sweet memory, they made objects like drums by huge trees. End of quote. Drums such as the log drum and the membrane drum served the Naga society in various ways. Among those tribes, where log drums are found. They give clarion calls for public meetings, raise fire alarms, announce enemy attacks, herald victorious headhunting expeditions, announce tiger or wild boar chases, mourn for the moon or the sun during lunar and solar eclipses, and are looked upon as the village deity Each occasion has its unique beat pattern, intelligible only to members of the same village, whereby secrecy is kept intact among warring villages. Alibotrojba <laughs> Benjong <laughs> There, <laughs> Tonance ABC Pashwamadame, Isma Lojakova, the 
Tungwa